So here we have a picture of a molecular cloud, I think somewhere near Barnard Star. It's some, got some LEDs mounted into it, but to your naked eye, it looks fairly straightforward. What we have next to it is a multispectral camera. So on the front we have a thermal camera, a visible camera and a near IR camera and they are displayed over at the back where we can see a rendering of what you can see on the actual device. Currently you can see what the camera is seeing in visible light but if you press buttons down here you can change that to just the blue, just the green, just the red, um, so if you, if you pair the red with the blue, different stars are bright because of course some stars should be hot from others so they have different um, spectra. And we've got near infrared where things look quite different because in around the dust cloud um, infrared light can get through dust much better than other colours so you can see some um, stars in there. And in thermal infrared when you just see a big area of dust which has been heated up. As you press the buttons um, there is another screen with different information about the different um, wavelengths and what you can see. And of course you can turn the camera around to point it yourself. And you can look at yourself in different wavelengths.